Welcome back to Door King Tech Tips. Today we will be exploring the resident elevator settings. This will cover the settings needed for the resident to operate the elevator. To get started, open your account folder by clicking the plus sign next to your account on the left. Then click on resident. We will be breaking down four columns in the resident screen that deal with elevator controls. These columns are the SL column, which stands for security level, the device number column, which is the resident input card or code, the FL column, which is the floor, and the ER column, which is the elevator reference. The first column that we will be looking at is the SL column. The important thing to note with this column is that security levels must be on an O2 or higher. In our example, all the residents have different security levels. This does not mean that they cannot all have the same security level. The security level only tells us what doors, gates, and floors the resident has access to on certain days and times. To configure and look at your security level settings, you can click on the SEC level icon in the top toolbar here. Please see our other videos on security levels for these settings. The next column we will be looking at is the device number column. The device number is the resident card, fob, or code that they would need to enter or present to a card reader or keypad in the elevator. The device number can be found on the back of remotes as a TR number, on cards and fobs typically as the last five digits, or made up as a keypad entry. The highest device number that our system will read is 65,405. So keep this in mind if using a keypad. Moving on to the FL column now. The floor column has a lot of functions when using elevators. The floor number doesn't just let us know what floor the resident lives on. It is also used when a visitor uses the call box. When a visitor uses the call box to call a resident and the resident grants access to the building, the visitor will have access to the resident's floor for a pre-programmed time. There is also another feature in your 30 series control board that is turned on by default. This is the star 75 elevator control feature. This feature authorizes floor access to the floor level the resident lives on and to floors in the security level screen for that resident's security level. The last column we will be looking at in this video is the ER column. The elevator reference column deals with the visitor's access. This number tells us how long to give the visitor to get into a defined elevator and press the button for the resident's floor. The ER number is defined in the elevator reference table here. Please see our other video on setting up the elevator reference table. And we'll see you next time for more Door King Tech Tips.